What's up, Internet? Sean V. Martin here, and I want to show you a little trick that I learned today. Several months ago, my wife got a MacBook Pro, and she loves the thing. She uses it every single day for her work. She does her emails, she does her documents, she does her Evernote stuff. It's great. And it seems like every time I pick up the damn thing, and yes, I'm calling it the damn thing, it doesn't want to play with me. It doesn't like me. Frequently, what I'm using it for is hooking it up to my HDTV with one of these little dongles, this software-controlled HDMI output bullshit. The reason I'm calling it bullshit is recently with the upgrade to Mountain Lion, they've removed the ability to output HDMI, at least as far as I can tell. But this debacle inspired greatness. A long time ago, several months ago, someone pointed out to me, Mouse Without Borders, and I wish I could remember who it was, whoever that person is. Thank you! Thank you! Just like Google has Google Labs, where they do secret, high-tech, whatever, self-driving car stuff, Microsoft also has, like, a Microsoft Lab. They're doing things like Mouse Without Borders. So I've got my two computer screens in front of me. I've been using two monitors on my computer for well over a year now, and I don't think I could do anything other than two monitors. That's just the way I work. Immediately to the left of my desk in my living room, is my HD TV. The aforementioned MacBook Pro replaced the functionality of a Dell PC that we kept in the bedroom. So whenever my wife and I wanted to play WoW together, one of us would have to sit back there, one of us would sit out here. Now she's got the laptop, she can just play over on the couch, although we canceled our WoW subscriptions a long time ago, so this story is going nowhere. Anyway, my point is the Dell has been sitting back there gathering dust. Literally. So last night when the MacBook Pro refused to cooperate with me, I went back there, grabbed the Dell, scooped it up, brought it out here, and plugged it into my TV, which has a VGA in. And my wife, who doesn't know anything about computers, was like, Sean, why can't you just use the TV as a third computer monitor? And I was like, that's preposterous. I'd need a new video card. I would need a second video card. It would cost more money than the Apple TV that they want us to buy to do the whole AirPlay mirroring thing. Blah, 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 blah. And then after I set up the PC, I was like, Actually, I'm sorry, Alicia, you're a genius. I installed Mouse Without Borders, which took about two minutes to do. And now I have the uncanny ability to move my mouse and use my keyboard on this screen or that screen. So last night while I was editing, I was planning on watching Nova's Battle of the X-Planes, as recommended by Carter Kalchik on the most recent SCHP. Uh, plug, 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 plug. And I had it open over here, and I would have just watched it on my smaller second screen over here. And then I was like, wait a second. And I took the YouTube link and I pressed Control C and then I moved my mouse over to that screen, opened up a browser and pressed Control V. And then I watched it on my TV. Apple, AirPlay mirroring and your $100 Apple TV just got beaten by an eight year old Windows XP machine. I mean, basically. See what I did? I was making fun of their new ad, the basically thing, because I'm basically doing, okay, never mind. And my wife, who doesn't know anything about computers, was like, Sean, why, why can't you just use the TV as a third, third computer, computer monitor? monitor. And my slower. wife, who doesn't know anything about computers, was like, Sean, Sean why, can't why can't you just use, use the TV as a third computer, computer monitor? monitor? And my wife, who doesn't know anything about computers, was like, Sean, why can't you just use the TV as a third computer monitor?